चैप्टर नंबर नाइन स्ट्रैटेजीज फॉर एनहांसमेंट इन फूड प्रोडक्शन विद एवर इंक्रीजिंग पॉपुलेशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एनहेंसमेंट ऑफ फूड प्रोडक्शन इज अ मेजर नेसेसिटी बायोलॉजिकल प्रिंसिपल्स एज अप्लाइड टू एनिमल हजबेंड्री एंड प्लान बीडिंग हैव अ मेजर रोल इन अवर एफर्ट्स टू इंक्रीज फूड प्रोडक्शन सेवरल न्यू टेक्निक्स लाइक एम्ब्रियो ट्रांसफर टेक्नोलॉजी एंड टिश्यू कल्चर टेक्निक आर गोइंग टू प्ले अ पाइवर्टल रोल इन फर्दर एनहेंसिंग फूड प्रोडक्शन एनिमल हजबेंड्री Animal husbandry is agricultural practice of breeding and raising livestock. As such, it is a vital skill for farmers, and it is as much science as it is art. Animal husbandry deals with care and breeding of livestock like buffaloes, cows, pigs, horses, cattle, sheep, camels, goats, etc., that are useful to humans. Extended, it includes poultry, farming, and fisheries. Fisheries include rearing, catching, selling, etc., of fish. mollusk shellfish and crustaceans prawns crabs etc since time immemorial animals like bees silkworm prawns crabs fishes birds pigs cattle sheep and camels have been used by humans for products like milk egg meat wool silk honey etc it is estimated that more than 70% of world livestock population is in india and china however it is surprising to note that the contribution to the world farm produce is only 25% that is the product productivity per unit is very low hence in addition to conventional practices of animal breeding and care newer, newer technologies also have to be applied to achieve improvement in quality and productivity management of farms and farm animals a professional approach to what have been traditional practices of farm management gives the much needed boost to our food production Let us discuss some of management procedures employed in various animal farm system. Dairy farm management. Dairying is the management of animals for milk and its product for human consumption. Can you list the animal that you would expect to find in a dairy? What are different kind of product that can be made with the milk from a dairy farm? In dairy farm management, we deal with the processes and system that increase the yield and improve quality of milk. Milk yield is primarily dependent on quality of breeds in the farm. Selection of good breeds having high yielding potential under the climatic condition of area combined with the resistant to diseases is very important. For the yield potential to realize, the cattle have to be well looked after. They have to be housed well, should have adequate water and be maintained disease free. the feeding cattle feeding of cattle should be carried out in a scientific manner with special emphasis on quality of and quantity of fodder besides stringent cleanliness and hygiene both of the cattle and the handlers are of paramount importance while milking storage and transport of milk and its product nowadays of course much of these processes have been mechanized which reduces chance of direct contact of the product with handler ensuring these stringent measures would of course require regular inspections with proper record keeping it would also help to identify and rectify the problems as early as possible regular visit by a veterinary doctor would be mandatory you would probably find it interesting if you were to prepare a questionnaire on diverse aspects of dairy keeping and then follow it up with a visit to dairy farm in your locality and seek answer to the questions poultry farm management poultry is the class of domesticated fowl birds used for food or for their eggs they typically include chicken and ducks and sometimes turkey and geese the word poultry is often used to refer to the meat of only these birds but in a more general sense it may refer to meat of other birds too as in dairy farming selection of disease free and suitable breeds proper and safe farm conditions proper feed and water and hygiene and health care are important components of poultry farm management you may have seen tv news or read newspaper reports about the bird flu virus which created a scare in the country and drastically affected egg and chicken consumption find out more about it and discuss whether the panic reaction was justified how can we prevent the spread of flu in case of some chicken are infected animal breeding breeding of animal is an important aspect of animal husbandry animal breeding aims at increasing the yield of animals 
and improving the desirable qualities of produce for what kind of characters would we breed animals would the selection of character differ with the choice of animals what do we understand by the term breed a group of animals related by descent and similar in most characters like general appearance features size configuration etc are said to belong to a breed find out the names of some common breeds of cattle and poultry in the farm of your area when bidding is between animals of the same breed it is called inbreeding while crosses between different breed are called outbreeding inbreeding inbreeding refers to the mating of more closely related species or individual within the same breed for 4 to 6 generations the breeding strategy is as follows superior males and superior female of the same breed are identified and mated in pairs the progeny obtained from such matings are evaluated and superior males and females among them are identified for further mating a superior female in case of cattle is a cow or buffalo that produces more milk per lactation on the other hand a superior male is a bull which gives rise to superior progeny as compared to those of other males try to recollect the homozygous pure lines developed by mendel as discussed in chapter 5 a similar strategy is used for developing pure lines in cattle as was used in case of pigs inbreeding increases homozygosity thus inbreeding is necessary if we want to evolve a pure line in any animal inbreeding exposes harmful recessive genes that are eliminated by selection it also helps in accumulation of superior genes and elimination of less desirable genes therefore this approach where there is selection at each step increases the productivity of inbred population however continued inbreeding especially close inbreeding usually reduces fertility and even productivity this is called inbreeding depression whenever this becomes a problem selected animals of breeding population should be mated with the unrelated superior animals of same breed this usually helps restore the fertility and yield outbreeding outbreeding is breeding of unrelated animals which may be between individuals of same breed but having no common ancestor for 4 to 6 generation outcrossing or between different breed cross breeding or between different species interspecific hybridization outcrossing this is the practice of mating of animals within the same breed but having no common ancestor on either side of their pedigree up to 4 to 6 generations the offspring of such a mating is known as an outcross it is best breeding method for animals that are below average in productivity in milk production growth rate in beef cattle etc a single outcross often helps to overcome inbreeding depression cross breeding in this method superior male of one breed are mated with superior female of another breed cross breeding allows the desirable qualities of two breeding two different breeds to be continued the progeny hybrid animals may themselves be used for commercial production alternatively they may be subjected to some form of inbreeding and selection to develop new stable breeds that may be superior to the existing breeds Many new animals breeds have been developed by this approach. Hisardale is a new breed of sheep developed in Punjab by crossing Bikaner apes and Merino rams. Interspecific hybridization. In this method, male and female animal of two different related species are mated. In some cases, the progeny may combine desirable features of both the parents and may be of considerable economic value. Example, mule Do you know what cross lead to the production of mule cross between male donkey and female horse lead to the mule control breeding experiments are carried out using artificial insemination the semen is collected from male that is chosen as a parent and injected into reproductive tract of selected female by the breeder the semen may be used immediately or can be frozen and used at a later date it can also be transported in a frozen form to where female is housed in this way desirable matings are carried artificial insemination help us overcome several problems of normal matings can you discuss and list some of them often the success rate of crossing mature male and female 
animal is fairly low even though artificial insemin- insemination is carried out to improve chances of successful production of hybrids other means are also used multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology moet is one such program for herd improvement in this method a cow is administered hormones with fsh like activity to induce follicular maturation and super ovulation instead of one egg which they normally yield per cycle they produce 6 to 8 eggs the animal is either mated with an allied bull or artificially inseminated the fertilized eggs at 8 to 32 cell stages are recovered non surgically and transferred to surrogate mothers the genetic mother is available for another round of super ovulation this technology has been demonstrated for cattle sheep rabbits buffaloes mares etc high milk yielding breeds of females and high quality lean meat with less lipid meat yielding bulls have been bred successfully to increase the herd size in a short time bee keeping bee keeping or apiculture is the maintenance of high use of honey bees for production of honey it has been an age old cottage industry honey is a food of high nutritive value and also finds use in indigenous system of medicine honey bee also produces bees wax which finds many uses in industry such as in the preparation of cosmetics and polishes of various kinds the increased demand of honey has led to large scale bee keeping practices it has become an established income generating industry whether practiced on a small or on a large scale bee keeping can be practiced in any area where there are sufficient bee pastures of some wild shrubs fruit orchards and cultivated crops there are several species of honey bees which can be reared of these the most common species is apis indica bee hives can be kept in one's courtyard on the veranda of house or even on the roof bee keeping is not labor intensive bee keeping though relatively easy does require some specialized knowledge and there are several organizations that teach bee keeping the following point are important for successful bee keeping one knowledge of nature and habit of bees second selection of suitable location for keeping the bee hives third catching and hiving of swarms group of bees four management of bee hives during different seasons and fifth handling and collection of honey and of bees wax bees are pollinators of many of our crop species such as sunflower brassica apple pear keeping bee hives in crop fields during flowering period increases pollination efficiency and improves the yield beneficial both from point of view of crop yield and honey yield fisheries fishery is an industry devoted to the catching processing or selling of fish shellfish or other aquatic animals a large number of our population is dependent on fish fish product and other aquatic animals such as prawn crab lobster edible oyster etc for food some of the freshwater fishes which are very common include katla rohu and common carp some of the marine fishes that are eaten include his hilsa sardines mackerel and pomfrets find out what fishes are commonly eaten in your area fisheries has an important place in indian economy it provides income and employment to millions of fishermen and farmers particularly in the coastal states for many it is the only source of their livelihood in order to meet the increasing demand of fisheries different technique have been employed to increase the production for example through aquaculture and pisciculture we have been able to increase the production of aquatic plants and animals both freshwater and marine find out the difference between pisciculture and aquaculture this has led to the development and flourishing of the fishery industry and it has brought a lot of income to the farmers in particular and the country in general we now talk about blue revolution as being implemented along the same lines as green revolution plant breeding traditional farming can only yield a limited biomass as food for humans and animals better management practices an increase in acreage can increase yield but only to a limited extent plant breeding as a technology has helped increase yields to a very large extent who in india has not heard of green revolution which is responsible for our country to not merely meet the national requirement of in food production but also help us even to export it green revolution was dependent to a large extent on plant breeding techniques 
for development of high yielding and disease resistance varieties in wheat rice maize etc